Well, I'm surprised you're even going to work after what happened yesterday. I thought you'd be stood by with your suitcase ready to rush to hospital. Well, I told Jenny I ought to be with her 24-7, but uh, she said it might be too much of a good thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. At least now she's on maternity leave, she gets a bit of a break. I've been studying the journey times between the village and the hospital. Now, if you use the ring road, it can take up to 30 minutes extra in rush hour. That could be crucial. Wow, how did they ever have babies before they invented the stopwatch? Yeah, well, you can't be too careful. I was really grateful Jay turned up at the hospital. Yeah, I couldn't wait to welcome his new nephew and niece into the beautiful world. Why didn't you call me? I didn't tell him. That did. See ya. See ya. Did I? Of course you did. I've got a memory like a sieve these days, Dad. <laughs> I must be getting old. Hey, you're late. Now then, I've been looking at all the routes and orders. Now, if we really want to expand this business, we're going to need an extra couple of trucks. Talk to Jimmy. Are you even listening? Growing the business is usually something that floats your boat, is it not? So, Chaz is back today. Thank you for the news bulletin. You know what? We could always think about leasing. When's she going to realise how ridiculous she's making herself look going around with that little creep? Careful, Tiger. You are in danger of sounding bitter. No one likes a sore loser, do they? Better to have loved and lost than, you know, all that stuff. She may be family to you, but she helped herself to 30 grand of my money and left me at the altar. And we've had our differences too, and we're putting all that behind us. Remember our new motto, forgive and forget. And you've still got a bit of time to plan their wedding present, haven't you? Don't worry. I've got that all worked out. Nicky will got halfway through his sandwich. <laughs> Decided he ought to go to Hotton in case Jenny needed him. Have you been going through my drawers? I needed a pen. Yeah, I'd better give that back to Nikhil and Jenny, you know, in case they worry I've lost it. Do you take me for an idiot? The name Brackles in the margin. That's your cleaner, isn't it? A young girl pregnant by an unknown man. Why would you have her scan photo? Are you the father of this baby? Just how long do you think you could keep this secret? How could I have been so wrong about you? I thought you were always the clever one. Oh, I knew you kept your brains in your trousers sometimes, but I never realized you could be this stupid. My dad, listen. I told you, we can't talk now. I need to decide what's to be done. We'll discuss it when you get home. I tried to be happy for Nikhil and Jenny, but their baby was just another reminder. Rachel was a good listener. We got drunk and one thing led to another. It's... You know how pathetic you sound. I am not proud of the way I behaved. Good. Is it too late for her to have an abortion? We've already discussed that and decided against it. Is there anything else you let this woman push you into? She didn't push me into anything. It was my idea. That's why you bought the place in the village, for her to move into. Are you completely insane? I want this baby. I want a villa in Ken, a Rolls Royce, a yacht. But I am grown up enough to realize you can't have everything you want in this life. The real question is, you want it enough to risk your marriage. I know you don't approve of what I've done, but I am just trying to make sure that nobody gets hurt. Please, let me deal with this in my own way. It's not that simple. Charity's family too now. And I've become rather fond of her. And she certainly doesn't deserve to be treated like this. Believe me, Dad. I love charity more than anything. Then you've got a strange way of showing it. And underestimating her is the most dangerous mistake of all. You know, I've learned a lot watching Charity cleanse that deal. She wasn't born to money like you. She's had to fight for everything. She's a lot tougher than most of the men I worked with, and I doubt she'd be very forgiving of anyone who crossed her. 
So your stupidity puts me in a rather difficult position. No, 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 Dad. You cannot be thinking about telling her. Maybe it's time you learn there's always a price to pay. No, Dad, wait. 